demystify this medium of airbrush. I want airbrush to be part of your artistic journey. Let's do it together. So the portrait in airbrush. I'm very excited to share this with you guys to go over all the materials that I use such as frisket film and sandpaper, India ink, uh, pencil, masking tape. I want to go over everything. Of course I'm not going to go over everything with the initial lesson. So it's just sort of a step by step each week. Right now we're going to go over the very initial elements. What I do to start an airbrush portrait. I'm gonna go over also like things down the line. So let's just go over the first lesson. I want you to follow me. After you follow me and you do this particular project, it's gonna be exciting because I want you to do your own stuff, but not until you finish this, okay? And then I wanna see what you guys do on your own. So I'm very excited to share this. It's gonna be great and looking forward to it. Let's go. As you can see here, I chose a photo that has good lights and darks. I took the photo myself. I always look for something that has a lot of information, the full spectrum of the values, so to speak. I like to begin with a drawing on tinted paper. This is something separate, just to get familiar with the pose, with the model, the bone structure. Kind of helps me to uh, tackle any kind of uh, issues or difficulties that I will find in the airbrush painting. It's not only a preparatory study, but also just to really familiarize myself with the lighting uh, and the hair. Sort of give me a game plan as to how to approach the airbrush painting. And this is what you want on the masonite. You know, the prepared masonite, you want to have a really nice line drawing. You could do this either with uh, a projector or draw it out yourself, but this is what you want to start. Okay, so basically we're going to stop here. We're going to work on the underpainting using India ink and water with the airbrush in the next episode. So. If you want to know how to make the board with the marble dust and gesso mixture, there's a link in the description uh, for some of my older videos that actually talk about that. It gives a really good step-by-step. -step. But don't worry, you could use your own surface. If you want to use a illustration board, you can. But to get the most out of this lesson, I would say get yourself the masonite board, the hard board from Dick Blick, and then the gesso and the marble dust and if you have any questions you have me to you know drop me a line leave a comment and uh, I'll help you out so little by little we'll get through this project together um, I'm also which is pretty cool I'm getting some uh, new lighting equipment a backdrop to make the videos much more professional and enjoyable for you guys. I want this channel to be an oasis for you on YouTube. Those who can't actually, you know, make it to art classes or can't afford it, this is going to be a great resource for you guys. I'm not going to abandon you. I want to do this every week. Something that you can uh, look forward to and enjoy and grow as an artist. So, hope you have a great week. Take care. Thanks for watching. Once again, like and subscribe. That helps me out. Helps me to make more videos, get better lighting. So take care, guys.